Hello and welcome to episode number 18 of this latest Bio tutorial series. Today, we will create a manual targeting system so that we can use our targeting arrow to select our targets. Let's go! The first thing we need is the new manual targeting system. Let's create it in a systems folder. The manual targeting system is a singleton. We will also need two references here. The arrow view from last episode and a layer mask where all target build objects will be, or better said, where all enemies will be. We will then have two methods. The first method is the start targeting method. This will be called when we start the targeting mode and will activate the arrow and then set the start position of our arrow to a start position. The second method we need is the end targeting method. It will return an enemy view and will be called when we end the targeting. It will also take the end position of the targeting, so the position where we want to check for a target. Here we first disable the arrow view again and we then cast the ray forward from our end position. We also use the target layer mask here. And the same if statement we also check if something was set. And if there was a hit we also check if it has an enemy view attached. And if all those things are true we return the enemy view. Otherwise, we return null. So if we try to target something different than an enemy view, we will get a null as a result. Next, we have to use the system somewhere. We will use it in the card view. We have to change a few things there. The upper part of the script stays the same, but we need to change the on mouse down, on drag and on mouse up method. In the onMouseDown method, right after the player interaction check, we need to check if the card has a manual target. If it has, we do something, otherwise we do the logic we had before. So here we can move all the logic we had before to the else statement. But if there is a manual target, we will start the targeting mode with the card view's current position. In the onMouse drag, we don't want to drag our card when we have a manual target effect but just have the arrow. And because the arrow motion is handled by the targeting system, we simply return here early if there is a manual target effect. In the onMouse up, we also have to check if there is a manual target effect after the player interaction check. In case there is no manual target effect, we will just have the same logic we had previously, so let's copy it into the else statement. When we have the manual target effect, we will first get the target enemy view with the end targeting mode and the current mouse position as parameter. If we have a target and we have enough mana, we can create a play card game action. But we have to change the play card game action a bit for this. We will need a manual target as property there. And we will also need a second constructor. The first constructor will be used whenever we play a card without a manual target and the new one will be used for cards with a manual target. In the first one, we can set the manual target to null. Back in the card view script, we create a new play card game action with the new constructor and perform it with the action system. We now also have to perform the manual target effect in the play card performer and the card system. 
Right after the mana game action, we can check if there is a minion target effect. And in case we have one, we create a new perform effect game action and pass our menu target effect and also the menu target. We then also add it as reaction to the action system. Everything else stays the same as the menu target effect is additional to all other effects, so we have no else statement here, the other effects will be always called as well. In Unity we have to create a new layer for our enemy views. We also assign it to all objects of the enemy view. In our scene, we then create a manual target system game object and attach the new script to it. There we set the layer and also the error view. We can then initially disable the error view. We then also can use our fireball card data again. We will have no other effects, but we will have damage effect under the manual target effect. Let's set it up here. We also have to add it to our deck. In play mode we can now test the fireball. When we drag it onto an enemy, we perform the effect. The arrow is also displayed correctly. Perfect. If we drop it somewhere else, nothing happens. Everything works as accepted. Great. In the next episode we will implement the perk system and a simple counter attack perk. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a sub. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.